It's a world away from Bondi Beach. One swimmer in the water. Just a handful of rescues every year. Tamika Wright is a budding young lifeguard, 500 kilometres north of Sydney. I just thought it was the best job to be at. If you're at the beach every day, you might as well work there. We set up at 9 o'clock and then we just train or sit and relax, watch the water. We probably do way more preventatives here. We like to pride ourselves up here. Let's see if we can get the whole season through without a rest here. But Tamika's life is about to radically change. Might need a wetty, the water's a bit colder down there. Tamika is about to begin a two-week trainee exchange to Bondi Beach. I've been doing my job now for four weeks, so I'm really new to it. <laughs> so it's going to be a huge thing when I go to Bondi. Enjoy the big smoke. Well, I don't know much about Bondi oh, yeah. and, yeah, don't know that much. <laughs> it's crazy. Is it a bit daunting with it, how many heads are in the water? Yeah, there's so many people. Yeah. Right? You've got to watch so many people. I've never actually rescued anyone, so... What about dealing with first aid? <laughs> Not much first aid either. Yeah, have you ever called an ambulance? No. You're going to make a lot of first-time <laughs> things, I think, here over the next few weeks. Yeah. It's a heaps nice beach, though. Yeah. As daunting as Bondi's madness is meeting the boys in blue. That's Jake, oh, yeah. he's our, uh, our trainee. Nervous? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she hasn't done a rescue yet. Have you done? Yeah. No. So, so I reckon Bondi will guarantee done half a dozen today, you will have a rescue. Do <laughs> you like it, Sydney? Yeah. Okay, you can stay, Max is gone. <laughs> <laughs> because a lot of the people that come here can't swim, so they haven't got the confidence. So whenever they see the white water, they go somewhere where it's not. And yeah. It's right where those deep holes and rips are. It's basically like herding a whole lot of cows sometimes, you know, just trying to get them yeah. in the, the area we want them. People look up to lifeguards and they always, like, smile and wave at them and be friendly to them. <laughs> I'm not asking you to get out of the water, I'm just asking you to move up the beach a little bit, please. Her first shift. Tamika learns the ropes with Terry. Backpackers all day has looked threatening. There's a very shallow bank and then it just drops off to really deep water. In her first month as a trainee back home, there was barely a single incident. But Bondi delivers in the first hour. Yeah, we've got, we've got a pretty uh, heavy head cut down here. Just keep you on the water for us, because it's pissing out blood. It was the first swim at Bondi for 20-year-old Jeremy. I was out surfing and I came, saw him in the water and tried to move out of the way. It's just too late. Uh, just make sure he's all right. I just want to see how big it is, though. Yeah, yeah, oh, man. There you go. Applying pressure stems the bleeding instantly. Yeah, bond on central. We'll need an ambo. OK, Bruce, what are we dealing with? We've got a major head wound. Uh, we're having trouble at the moment stopping the bleeding. Keep watching the beach for it. Any odds, please. Jeremy will need multiple stitches. Until paramedics arrive, Brad and Kobe stabilise the swimmer. These types of injuries we take very seriously because if you get blood loss, you've also got the problem of losing consciousness and concussion and also spinal. Where are you from already? Oh, Massachusetts. Oh, yeah? You got travel insurance? Uh, yep. Oh, I got a surfboard right across the head. Can't avoid it sometimes. We'll be fine, a couple of stitches. I opened it up and it actually squirted out onto me, so uh, pretty serious head, head cut. He's, uh, he's lucky though. The ambulance is coming to us here at the tower. The guys know what's going on. They're stabilising the patient. All right. yep. Bring him up here and hopefully we'll have them both meet at the same time. It's Tamika's first taste of Bondi. Thank you, Thank you very much. It all can happen pretty quick here. You need to be, there's no time to switch off. You've yeah. got to be on the ball the whole time. No, any like coughs. Yeah. 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 <laughs> But Tamika's not the only one feeling a little lost on Bondi. <laughs> Ashley was found distressed and alone by the water. You're safe now, you're with the lifeguards. How old are you? Six. Where do you live? This way. Oh, hang on, we'll write that down. You're right down near the pool. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to try to look for my son. It looks just great. That'd be all right. You'll be all right. We'll find him. We've never not yeah. found one. Never not found a mum. No, I'll do that while you... Is it you and mum? 
Is Dad here too? Dad and Has Dad got a phone? Yeah. Okay, What's we're going to ring Dad right. now, Bruce. Three, zero. What's Dad's name? Jimmy. 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 Get Jimmy on the line. Yes. If you were hungry, I was going to share half a cookie with you. Do you like usually yeah, cookies? What about we break all the rules? <laughs> you want half bars? No. no. See, she's been taught well, Terry, not to take anything from strangers. That's true. Oh, yeah. But in this instance, we, we hope that we're not strangers. I hope we're... Uh, Blue Rhino to Bondi Lifeguards. We've got a lost little girl. She's seven years old. If you find her, I'll send the father up to the tower. Over. Well, if they'd like to pop up to the tower, uh, Bruce has got some wonderful news for them. Mum and Dad are coming. Now, if you look through these binoculars, have you used binoculars before? Oh, you got some in your car. Do you want to go and get them instead of these? Oh, the car's locked. That's a good idea if one night to lock your car. There he comes. There he comes here. Look at him. He's running. So Have you down. ever seen Dad run as fast as this? He's rolled his pants up there, Kate. What's Daddy's nickname? He doesn't have one. No. Here he comes. Do you love your dad? Yeah, of course. Here he comes. Look at him. This is going to be a wonderful reunion. Still coming. He's running out of puff. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here we go. Here we go. Reunite. Wait there. Wait for the Wait for the Jimmy. Jimmy. How are you, bro? Look at this. You know this girl? Oh, who are you? Oh, you're a good one. 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 Oh, you're a I thought she might drown in the water. Oh, I was very scared. And after I got the news, she was found. A big relief. One fin chop and one lost child. A quiet day on Bondi. It hasn't really hit me yet, really. Never actually thought I was going to be working on Bondi Beach, so it's pretty good. Tamika's quickly learned that being observant is a Bondi lifeguard's first duty. Yeah, so where's this guy running to? There's an incident at the water's edge. Just running in. Excuse me. Blue right out of Bondi Central. Go ahead, mate. Something going on here. Can you get someone down to help me? Dino takes Tamika to her first emergency situation. 15-year-old Georgia hit her head on a sandbank after diving under a wave. How you going? It's Terry here. You went for plenty of help, OK? I'm just going to lay you straight down. We've got all the hands under her back here. And on three, we're going to lay her back, OK? One, two, three. Back we're just laying you down. If Georgia has injured her spine, it's critical she's kept still to prevent making the injury worse. In shock, Georgia is treated with oxygen. It's the first suspected spinal case Tamika has attended in her short career. Bit of loss of memory, maybe a temporary yeah. knockout. Yeah. That oxygen seems to be doing the world of good. She's taken a little knock to the head and a little bit of maybe concussion and stuff, but we've just got to do some further tests just to make sure she's okay. Sometimes you can hurt your neck when you hit your head. Before Georgia is moved, her neck is braced. It's not going to be painful, it's just going to help your neck. feel like I'm tingling. Yeah, okay, well that's good. Right. More reason to put this collar on, okay? Where's the tingling? Tingling sensations can also indicate spinal injury. Another first aid lesson. Maintaining body temperature helps minimise shock. We're from the Blue Mountains, so it was meant to be a good day out. 
it's really scary. I don't really, I don't know, I just hope she's okay. Georgia, do a joke your eyes up. Just relax, darling, relax. Okay, she gets herself all upset. Safely immobilised, Georgia is transported to a waiting ambulance. Georgia is in safe hands, while Tamika has gained invaluable experience. Yeah, it's kind of a bit scary seeing people in that state. I would never come across spinals like every day sort of thing, but it happens a lot here, so it's a pretty good experience. You feeling okay? Best <laughs> time <laughs> Hey, I came here with 20 years experience and I felt kind of like I had to feel my way in. Tamika's come here with uh, about two weeks experience, so she's really uh, got to feel a little intimidated, but we're trying to make her welcome and trying to lead her down a path and uh, help her out. Mid-morning and a rising swell hits Bondi. With a low tide, Bondi's rips are in full swing. Got a uh, guy in trouble down at Backpackers. Kerbox makes his way through the heavy swell. A few sort of waves in there, it's a bit of a tricky rescue. Hang on, mate, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Caught in the impact zone, the challenge is to get the patient to shore uninjured. With sets rolling in fast, there's no time to get on the rescue board. <laughs> Kerbox wants to prevent the heavy board from hitting the rescue victim. Kerbox oh, just did a full flip. <laughs> Finally. The swell pushes them back into shallow water. John is a local scaffolder on a quick swim during his lunch break. Started there, ended up out there, trying to get back in, trying to get away. Yeah, I was sort of thinking, I'm in a lot of trouble here. Thanks a lot, mate. Champion. <laughs> no worries. Saved me. You know, I don't mind how stupid I look, but you know, as long as I got him in and he's happy and can go back to work now. And, have a smile for the rest of the afternoon. <laughs> As an easterly wind starts pushing into Bondi, lifeguards brace themselves. Easterlies are notorious for bringing unwanted guests to the beach. An invasion of Bondi slowly begins. I'd like to see a, a bit of a campaign explaining, especially to our tourists who are, who are trying to encourage to come to our country, uh, to be aware of certain things. It's not Disneyland, it's not um, Kansas, you know? They're like sailing boats, they just come in on the wind. Then, one by one, the tower itself is invaded. Fish you? Yeah, fish you. Oh, the shoe, do not have the fish you. Yeah. Relax. Oh, where'd you get stung, lady? Is it feeling better? No, she speaks English. No, French. Oh, only French, no wonder. H patrols the shore to try and prevent more casualties. I told you not to go in the water, mate. But it's too late for this boy. He's been stung. I said do not. Do you understand English? Do you understand English? Listen. Relax. Okay. Come on. Uh, come on. Then a bigger problem presents itself. A whole busload of tourists has headed down to the water's edge. Tamika is about to experience Bondi in full flight. Baby in the summertime, <laughs> that is where I'll be. Ice pack, Tamika. Oh, I want an ice pack, thank you, Sean. Who's been stung? With a score of patients, trainee Tamika steps in to help. The blue bottle's toxin has already reached the boy's glands. 
In rare instances, patients can go into anaphylactic shock. Totally unfamiliar with the dangers of the ocean, they are gripped by pain and fear. Hey, listen. That's good. Don't worry, huh? Up. Slowly, slowly. That's it. That's good. Very good, mate. Just calm, calm, right? But some aren't convinced that blue bottles are to blame. Unfortunately, the beauties of Sydney are the last thing on this boy's mind. Meanwhile, H's soothing ways are working a treat. Okay. Good, mate. Sweet. Thank you. What's that mean? Thank you. 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 By now, almost 50 victims have come to the tower. Lifeguards are desperate to prevent more. Trying to stop people getting stung, which is being pretty hard at the moment. What? <laughs> As the bus waits to go, its passengers are missing. These guys are from Shanghai, so I picked them up at the airport this morning, so they've come from the airport straight to Bondi. Tomorrow we'll take them to Canberra. The next day they'll be back on a plane back to China. So they had a very short time here and uh, they met one of our jellyfish by the looks of it. Okay. Oh, oh in the middle. It's like a war zone. Then just as the situation seems contained. Six ramp. We've got another busload of tourists. H and Tamika are sent to help control the beach. Anyone speak English? Well, see this, this. Oh, no good. No good. A second busload of tourists has come face to face with Bondi's blue bottles. Shower, fresh water. Shower. Water. Um, Jesus. But the drama presents a novel memory for some. Back in the tower, the carnage isn't over. English. English. With language proving a barrier, H recruits some help. Nah, I didn't come. I was come. working. Oh, well, 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 yeah, well, working. Uh, Always working. Uh, so, uh, 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 water. Uh, uh, uh. What is the Chinese word for? Uh, 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 Finally, the tour of Sydney's less dangerous beauties resumes. Bye! All these swimmers out here in front, can you please move across? 
in her first days as a trainee, Tamika's learned to remove people from danger before accidents happen. Master communicator Harry's takes the tutorial. Some people try and tell you a whole scenario of things on the, on the megaphone, but if you just keep it short, sharp, and fast. All right, so there he is. When he comes up over the wave, he should be able to hear now. Attention to the gentleman. Attention to the gentleman out there swimming. That's all right. <laughs> Pay attention to the man out there swimming in the green shower cap. Attention out there to the man swimming in the green shower cap. Okay, he's, he's ID'd us. Could you yeah. please swim 40 metres out to the south? There that he way. goes. That's it, he got it. Yay! So he's, he's, he's tampering with danger, but he, he wouldn't actually know. He's out there just having a swim. He's enjoying it. This is his holiday. He's <laughs> saved up for it and he's having it. Here he comes. So we'll go down, yeah, we'll have a chat to him. And he'll be shitting himself now, you know, here. And we'll educate him, you know, we'll teach him. Tamika's about to find out that Bondi go. isn't yeah. always as it seems. Yeah. Where are you from? Adelaide. Oh, Adelaide, you're yeah. from Adelaide, no way. <laughs> Were you in difficulty or anything? Did you feel the rip pulling you a bit? Oh, I was loving it, man. It's awesome. Oh, oh, this is fabulous. Thanks very much. Mate, it's a pleasure meeting you. Thank you so much as well for your time. All right. Yeah.